a very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,282.85 points, marking an increase of 3.77 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 65% of total shares. 82 transactions included 3,019,298 shares, worth 738,684 Bahraini dinars. Gulf Air announced the official launch of its new holiday booking subsidiary under the aim to offer travelers a wide range of holiday packages and tailor-made travel solutions via holidays.gulfair.com. The airline said in a statement that it is working in partnership with online travel booking company EasyGo1.com, which is acting as a back-end service provider. Gulf Air Deputy CEO said by launching Gulf Air Holidays, we hope not only to spoil customers, but also to promote Bahrain. Oman's GDP is set to grow at 5.2% in 2018 after the co country commenced natural gas production and opened a new airport in Muscat. This is considered the strongest growth rate since 2015 and it will help study the country's property market. Government efforts to diversify revenue streams have also driven positive growth. The start of natural gas production at the Khazan gas field and the opening of the new airport have been the main drivers of the new economic opportunities in Oman. The 19th National Congress of Communist Party of China shows opportunities and openings for more flourished economy. More in this report. The 19th National Congress of Communist Party of China, the CPC, sends a message of opening up more economic sectors which will benefit both China and the world. According to David Dollar, a senior fellow at Brookings Institute and a former U.S. Treasury's economic and financial emissary to China, the new leadership team in China will help speed up the reform and open up process in the country, which will be good news for international investors and will deliver a profound impact on the international capital market. Well, I think on the economic side, the most important messages coming from the Congress concern this opening up more sectors in China. And if China had more sectors that were open, I think that would benefit China and benefit the world. Uh, Chinese leaders also talked about the rising debt in China and the problem of leverage. And I think after the party Congress with, with the new leadership, I now think China will gradually rein in the growth of credit, slow down the growth of credit, and start to deal with some of these financial risks that are building up. So in general, markets around the world had a pretty positive reaction to the 19th Party Congress, both the discussions and the leadership decisions. Dollar says the Chinese leaders address rising debt problems at the CPC Congress and will likely actively slow down the growth of credit, which will be another positive change for global investors. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading. That's it from the business desk and back to you, Sarah. Thank